We are familiar with the Mini, and you or someone you know may own one. The Mini, a car recognized by anyone at first sight, has a 63-year history. Even today, many well-maintained Mini cars can be seen on the road. The first Mini was produced in 1959, although it wasn't very popular initially. However, its demand increased significantly due to the influence of the Beatles band and the movie, The Italian Job. Although the demand gradually declined over time, the popular Mr. Bean series in the 90s revived the Mini. In this video, we will explore the history of this iconic car. Stay tuned until the end. The Suez Canal Crisis in 1959 and the Influx of Small Cars into Britain The Suez Canal Crisis served as the foundation for the creation of the Mini. When the Egyptian government abruptly closed the Suez Canal, it disrupted crucial voyages. In response, Great Britain, with the support of France and Israel, launched a military operation against Egypt to secure uninterrupted access to the canal. Although the operation succeeded militarily, it had adverse political and economic consequences for Britain. One major issue was the difficulty in importing crude oil, leading to petrol restrictions similar to those during World War II. As a result, the sales of fuel-consuming British cars declined rapidly, and small cars from Germany and France flooded British roads. Leonard Lord accepted the challenge of eliminating foreign small cars. Despite the high quality of German and French cars today, the situation was different back then. Many European car companies, recovering from the devastation of World War II, focused on providing basic transportation. They lacked additional features and aesthetics. The fuel-efficient and affordable German cars gained popularity in Britain. Leonard Lord, the head of the British Motor Corporation, BMC, Britain's largest vehicle manufacturer at the time, was displeased with this situation. In 1956, he vowed to create a proper small car and remove these foreign small cars from British roads. Alec Isagonis, the man who revolutionized small car design. Leonard Lord assigned the task to Alec Isagonis, a talented designer at BMC known for his unconventional ideas. One of Lord's main requirements was to ensure sufficient interior space in a small car. To meet this demand, Isagonis implemented three revolutionary ideas. First, he transmitted power directly to the front wheels only. He also positioned the engine transversely instead of longitudinally like other vehicles. Additionally, he maximized the placement of the car's four wheels at the corners. Isagonis's revolutionary ideas and their remarkable results. BMC aimed to design the new car to be exactly 10 feet or 120 inches long. However, Isagonis's three revolutionary solutions resulted in significantly more interior space. The most significant factor was delivering power directly to the front wheels, eliminating the need for a propeller shaft and creating more space. By attaching the engine to the front, the entire engine bay and associated parts were confined to a compact two-foot area. As a result, although the car's overall length was limited to 10 feet, the passenger cabin had a spacious 8-foot length, allowing four large individuals to travel comfortably in the Mini. Cross-opening glass and four-spoke wheels for passenger comfort. Another unconventional solution for passenger comfort was implemented in the new car. The windows could be opened by sliding them horizontally instead of vertically, eliminating the need for space inside the door for traditional window mechanisms. This design enabled the inclusion of a spacious pocket within the door to store necessary items. The pocket was large enough to hold a bottle of Gordon-type liquor, a personal favorite of Isagonis. Another distinctive feature of the Mini was its four wheels placed at the vehicle's corners, resulting in a significant reduction in space between the wheels and the roof's end. This design choice provided the Mini with a generous wheelbase compared to its length, contributing to its superb driving characteristics and making it beloved by many. Three years prior to its release in the British market, the first car embodying Isagonis's revolutionary ideas was introduced to the market in August 1959. As the car was manufactured by BMC, which owned multiple car brands, it initially did not have a specific name. 
Various BMC subsidiaries released it under different models, such as the Austin 7, Austrian Mini, Morris Mini Minor, Innocenti Mini, Wolseley Hornet, and Riley Elf. Nevertheless, Leonard Lord fulfilled his promise of creating a proper small car three years earlier. Beyond the car's groundbreaking design, its price garnered significant attention. It entered the market at the affordable price of £496, becoming widely known as a car that could be purchased for less than £500. Mini secures its place. The early success of the Mini stemmed from the popularity of its two models, the Austin 7 and the Morris Mini Minor. Consequently, the car became commonly referred to by these names. However, in a short period, the name, Mini, prevailed as the most fitting designation. Regardless of the various companies under the BMC umbrella, the car was consistently marketed as the Mini. Despite a slow start, the Mini did not achieve significant success in its early days, with only 8,000 units sold in its first year. This can be attributed, in part, to the reluctance of many traditional British individuals to embrace a car associated with affordability. The Mini becomes the epitome of cool in the 1960s. The perception of the Mini as a budget vehicle underwent a transformative shift through a remarkable advertising campaign orchestrated by BMC. The company selected hundreds of the most popular and influential figures in Britain, including the renowned members of the Beatles, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr, and gifted them Minis. The Minis' association with the Beatles, whose music had taken the nation by storm, turned it into a symbol of coolness and sparked a trend of traveling in minis. The Mini further solidified its status when it won the Monte Carlo Rally in 1964, 1965, and 1967. The release of the movie, The Italian Job, in 1969 also propelled the Mini's popularity to new heights. Consequently, the 1960s can be considered the golden decade for the Mini. Decline and revival in the 1990s through Mr. Bean, the late 1960s witnessed the gradual decline of the British car industry. Factors such as internal conflicts, operational challenges, and financial burdens led to the breakup and subsequent decline of BMC. The production costs were so high that every sale of a Mini resulted in significant financial losses. In the 1970s and 80s, the demand for Minis hit an all-time low. However, an unexpected revival occurred in the 1990s with the global popularity of the television series, Mr. Bean. The Mini played a prominent role in the show, contributing to its comedic elements through scenes such as the iconic teddy bear lock, removing the steering wheel instead of using a key, driving with a chair placed atop the Mini, and mocking the three-wheeled Reliant Robins. Once again, the Mini experienced high demand in the late 1990s acquisition by BMW and the current state. Despite being cherished for a long time, the Mini faced challenges with the introduction of new vehicle safety regulations in Europe. Adhering to these regulations required significant investments in redesigning the Mini, which the struggling Rover company, then the owner of the Mini brand, could not afford. As a result, in 2000, the rights to the Mini name were sold to BMW, a German automotive company. In 2001, BMW launched a new model of the Mini, which received favorable reviews for its successful balance of honoring the original Mini's legacy while incorporating modern updates. Unlike many past attempts to revitalize classic cars, BMW's efforts were well received, ensuring that the Mini remained a highly sought-after car even in the present day. Today, approximately 250,000 Minis are sold worldwide each year. Explore the fascinating world of Mini. If you haven't already, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay connected and be informed about more captivating content. Don't forget to share this video so that others can also enjoy it. We promise to return with equally special and exciting videos in the future, brought to you by your beloved Eduvox. Have a wonderful day and good luck!